Welcome back to another episode of Trail Talk. Eric, we're outside. We are. I'm wearing flip-flops. Yes, you are. We have water things. We're cleaning the vehicle today. Nice. How to clean your side-by-side. -side. The age-old question people have asking for, for a millennium. <laughs> Firstly, does your garage look like so, <laughs> right? The most cleaning ingredients you've ever seen. Nobody knows what they do. Guess what? We're gonna walk through it all. It's very simple. It's a very simple process. And we are going to finally clean our beloved general, YouTube general. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. So first and foremost, Eric, let's talk about when you clean this thing. So down in here is a good example. Firstly, we got brand new tires on. Yes. So these are very clean. So this is like oddball out. Inside here, you'll see though, this is called mud. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got some mud building up in the fenders, not a big deal. Um, but if you look in here, Eric, a little bit of dirt on this housing, yeah. if I like rub it, yeah. back in here, there is just, just mud, dirt it. coated, down in the suspension joints in the back, uh, in, well, in the back of the front bulkhead, there's some dirt. I mean, look at the inside quick. Down on the footwells, we got dirt. We got dirt up here on the screen. Not like we went mudding in this thing, obviously. You could have these things absolutely brown. But this is honestly about, if you come down here, this is about when you would want to start having a, a good vehicle clean. Yeah. If you look at the suspension joints back here again, too, and the arms, dirt, dirt down in here. There's all this cobwebby stuff if you're outside, right? Um, everywhere. You don't want this stuff wearing in your smooth suspension cycle because it'll grime stuff up. You don't want it wearing on axle boots and inside the wheels and anywhere that it could like just be sandy and gritty. Right. That works against a nice smooth silent ride, which isn't that what we all want? We do. <laughs> Long story short, you clean your vehicle when things start to get a little grimy and to each their own. Okay, yes. but if you're seeing mud, grass, whatever build up, you're gonna wanna do something about it. Basically, we're gonna do a bucket dump. Okay. And just talk about everything here. Cause there is a good, better, best in my opinion. Perhaps you'll agree with me. Okay. We even have some household cleaning items. Yes. Okay. Yes. A foam cannon. I love it. This is, and this one is called the foam gun. Yes. You know, there's a million foam cannons. Uh, this just happens to be, the one, to be the one Eric had in his garage. So a foam cannon is awesome because you, well, you do need some things. You need a pressure washer because it will attach to the end of the pressure washer and it will mix soap and foam straight into your solution. However, because of all of that going on and the nozzle, which can actually adjust, which is kind of cool, it is a lower pressure end result yep. that covers the whole thing, lets it soak, and it's awesome. Yes. This is my number one, and also all of the engineers' number one recommended item that I talked to, which was many of them. Eric, this is your number one. It is. This yeah. is not that expensive. Right. I think you got this like on a, on a deal, right? Yeah, they're like maybe 20 or 30 bucks. You got like this yeah. with the wash that came with it? Yep. yep. We'll show you how to use it in a second. But this would be the number one. If, however, though, am I yelling? You're good. <laughs> it's loud out here. There's a highway. Over There's there. a highway, guys and we're, girls. Yeah, we're the bike by the dumpsters. So like he can hear me, but I can't hear how loud I am. <laughs> we are by the dumpsters, and we're literally using like a city water key. We just found a hose. <laughs> Look at, <laughs> come find us at door ten deliveries. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say you are simply using a hose though, or something like that. Maybe you're even soap and bucket, right? We didn't even talk about That's that. It's, great. it's it's another great option. We have the bucket. Here's some things you might need. Firstly, soap. This obviously paired with the foam cannon, we'll come back to it. Um, this you use like some of the other products here in a very low concentration mixed with water. Yeah. So most of this stuff you don't just straight up use. One of my pro tips, Eric, Muck Off, okay. which is for mountain biking, is an awesome, oh, keep your stuff in the off position. 
awesome thing to use and let's sit and soak. Kind of, kind of an all-purpose cleaner. Okay. Uh, but that is an, you know, you can, you don't have to buy all this specialized stuff. Like maybe you already have a bike cleaner, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, there's also, we'll talk about a few of these products, not affiliated once again. This was in Eric's garage. Renegade, I know they're super well known for like cleaning side-by-side -side stuff. If you want to like nut out and just be, you know, freaking all-purpose cleaner. Uh, kiss my glass, right? So clean the glass a little bit better. This one's the tire cleaner, or is this an after spray? Probably both. Nobody rubber, knows. Rubber vinyl. Rubber vinyl, right, something like that. Um, there's some very specialized products. I also have, from the chemical guys, another wheel cleaner. You can go as heavy as a degreaser. Uh, again, mix this very low concentration. There are a ton of different things you can use. Honestly, you could literally get away with like this pledge, yes. one of Eric's pro tips. That's a hack, that's good. Literally, just car wash, right? Yeah. O'Reilly, right? What's, you got it. I'm not gonna sing the ditty. <laughs> Dish detergent. Sure. If, I, if my fiance is watching, which I, I know she is, I will return this. <laughs> this is our, that's Lim for, that's limited for. edition, mint yeah. scent. If you want your seats to smell awesome, actually, we might use a little bit of this. Let's just, just a little. Just the driver's seat. <laughs> you can literally use dish detergent, okay? Like, not a complicated process. There are some special things. Eric is a big fan of Rain-X, yeah. which we do have a windshield. That is awesome, because a piece of this, Eric, is on the back side, you do want to use some things that we'll talk about, not yet, to prevent dirt from coming in the future. So That's keep right. that in mind. Yeah. What the heck have I missed? We've obviously got brushes, sponges, microfiber stuff, rags. You could use shop towels. You could use your shirt, whatever you want to use. Just not something that's going to scrape like steel wool, like mess it up. Yeah. Tracking. Kind of common sense. I feel like it's super common sense. I don't even know why we're making this video. <laughs> Just kidding, we got some good stuff coming. Uh, what was this? A detail spray? So, okay. I feel like we've covered the myriad of things here. Generally, the very first thing you want to do, Eric, is park your vehicle on a flat surface. Okay. You want to remove the key. Yep. Put the vehicle in park, which would allow you to remove the key. Um, you want to then run very fast and change into more appropriate wash clothes. <laughs> You've never seen my legs before. You'll never see them again. <laughs> okay. Do you want to see the hamburger toe? Yes. Normal toe for comparison. Oh, man. I'm on like my fifth or sixth week of healing. I can't remember. I am losing the nail. Okay, so you've parked the vehicle. You've got your sick uh, washing clothes on. Yep. If you if you actually have clothes set aside for washing that aren't lawn mowing clothes, that's too much. That is you too shouldn't much. have special clothes for that. You want to let the vehicle cool down, Eric. Yes. The reason for that is in the rear of the vehicle, there are some very hot components that you don't want to probably, if you can avoid it, cool at a very high rate of speed yep. and or touch with like something that could melt, right. right? So just be cognizant of that too. Let the vehicle cool down, nothing crazy. The next step is you're gonna wanna pre-soak the vehicle. So even if I was not using the foam cannon um, or whatever, I would still, with my garden hose, set that puppy to intermediate mist. I love that sound. <laughs> Maybe a spray, soak the whole thing down, especially in here. All this hard stuff has been on here a while. Yep. I had just sprayed this with some of the muck off. I can already rub some of it off. That's great. Right? So pre-soak the vehicle. Get the whole thing covered. Then you want to suds the whole vehicle. Suds? Soak, then suds. In our version, in a moment here, because we're obviously going to do it the best possible way, we're going to do it all in one and can in this, yeah. this hog. Uh, but otherwise, you would spray it down. Then you would get out your muck off, all-purpose cleaner, some solution. You could scrub it on. Yep. You could spray it on. Do I just 
keep putting this in the off position. Spray it all on. It's already wet and soaking. Now you're sudsing it, right? I'm putting it back off. In the middle of that, you could of course then be washing all this stuff, right? But we're not gonna do it that way. We're gonna load up this guy. I like it. Okay. So let's get this going. And then we'll talk about drying at the end because you do want to dry and then prevent future dirt as the final steps. So we're gonna foam this guy up. Eric is gracefully allowing me to utilize his gun today, oh, that's great. his foam gun. Uh, we actually disconnected the, oh, a little bit left. Eric has pre-determined the proper foam ratio. I find I can usually get a vehicle done with about that much resolution. And what are we gonna do, just a little more? Sure. Call it right there. Oh yeah, whatever works. Boom. So we've got this high concentration, remember. We're now going to turn the key to the city on, Eric. <laughs> so this, if you like general preparedness, this is not a bad thing to buy on Amazon for like to go take water. $10. Because if you actually needed water in a certain scenario, many of these things, this is like what's behind, actually, I can't fully speak to fire hydrants. Sure. But city water often runs off of different size variations of this key. All right, Eric. We have our bottle of foam. That's tasty. Okay. Not too tight. This will quick disconnect into this guy, but we're gonna hook this up first. Pre-soak's done. Two other things I just thought of while I was doing the pre-soak. Inside the vehicle, the drains. Yeah. Open the drains, which are in the foot wells. If you have a razor and or a general, um, from vehicle to vehicle, they can be in different spots. If you're using the high volume, low pressure hose, it's very helpful inside the cab. A pressure washer just sprays stuff everywhere, Eric. Like if you go top down and then you're working down here, you're going to have dirt back up here. Yep. Yep. <laughs> the, the garden hose, if you will, makes it a lot easier to kind of just slowly chase everything out of the drain hole. Big pro tip. In the back, also, obviously keep this open, keep some doors open, just give yourself areas for stuff to like run out everywhere. Are you ready for the cannon? Yes. We have attached the foam cannon. Just a little quick disconnect coupler, and we're ready to foam. Eric has, has instructed me. <laughs> we already said there's an adjustable knob. There's also a foam dial yeah. that has very low actual like accuracy. Exactly. We'll so we'll see out. what happens. We'll figure it out. Oh yeah. This is the best ASMR ever. And now we wait. <laughs> we have a soaked vehicle, a yes. sudsed vehicle, Sudsy. a vehicle ready for some of this. We're no longer using the pressure washer, like I said. So let's now rinse this puppy off. Okay. I'm working top to bottom so that it like it helps rinse itself down too. Being a giraffe does help in this case. <laughs> so we're working our way up to down, Eric. I also like to go inside to outside. Okay. Mainly because you'll definitely get the inside dirty again. Like the inside is higher up than down here. The beauty of ride command. Doesn't matter. Can you do this in your car?
I can even like make it way more chill. There you go. That's better. Just run it all right out. Yep. It's not like me to say this, but power is not always the answer. Sometimes this soft little stream can just clean it all out. Easy to forget behind the seats. Ah, uh, yes. Both for dirt and for soap. The one con of the foam cannon, Eric, yeah. is it's also somewhat the lazy man's approach to washing. Yes. So like you can see, we certainly could get a lot more dirt off of here. Right. It's not gonna take that off on its own. Via scrubbing, sponges, soap, you know, your good old fashioned wash. But sometimes there's not always time for that. Right. And I'm sure people will get in the comments and give all their own washing techniques that are like the absolute spit shine. <laughs> See yourself in the graphics, even though they're not paint. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, obviously there's paint, but the graphics are graphics. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is what I like to call like the five to 10 foot wash, <laughs> where when we're back here, how okay. clean does she look? Looks good. <laughs> Honestly, like I said at the beginning, when do you want to wash your vehicle? When you have buildup when you have mud and grass and dirt and whatever else, like gunking up actual componentry, a little bit of mud, dirt, some dry dust, whatever on the fenders, not gonna be a problem at the end of the day. Is that how you treat your stuff, Eric? Yeah. yeah. I know you do like to put a nice shine on that dirt bike of yours, I'll do a deep, a deep clean every now and then, for sure. Deep clean every now and then, otherwise, keep the gear running up to snuff. Last steps are we want to dry this thing and then we want to probably prep it from getting dirty next time. Okay. Best methods to dry, we do not have accessible to us right now. <laughs> because, again, look how much stuff we had to break. We just have a bucket. There's some things you forget. Um, a leaf blower would be one of the best things to use to actually dry the vehicle. Sure. Also, an air compressor. But if you have a leaf blower, it's probably a little bit you know, not as expensive as an air compressor. You might have one around the house already. You probably have one, you might have one. Uh, dual purpose now is you can now dry with it. Yes. Um, that is a phenomenal option because you do not want water to sit on the vehicle. It could water spot, which is aesthetic and drives some people crazy. Yep. Um, it could rust on different componentry over time. Uh, which is also the, not, you know, you don't necessarily want to store the vehicle outside also for that reason. Um, so drying the vehicle is important. You also could do, Eric, on a safe, long, straight road, <laughs> what I call the air dry, well, for drive. which is what we might need to do with this thing because we didn't bring the stuff. Otherwise, we are going to be subject to rags. Where'd they go? It's a lot of rag drying. <laughs> but. You want to dry the thing down so that, obviously, it's not going to rust or water spot. Finally then, prevention. There is many different things you can do after you've washed it, like quick <laughs> detailer that you can use for like tons of different surfaces. There's the tire shine one. Again, rain -X, right? Eric loves that stuff. Hopefully you learned something. If you did, leave the video a like. If you're liking all the videos, maybe hit subscribe if we've earned it, right? We spend a lot of time on these videos. Let, you know, leave us a comment if there's a new topic you're interested in, something you wanna see, we'll shoot it if we can. If we're, if we're humanly able to shoot it, Eric, we will. we'll try and make a way to do it. Let us know though. Otherwise, Eric, our final message. Yeah. This stuff is very cool, but it's not cool if you buy the coolest pressure washer stuff and all this and you never use it because you're never riding your vehicle. So please go out and ride and join us for the next episode of Trail Talk. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.